Hi friends, this is Denaro Research and in this video I will talk about privacy and anonymity in cryptocurrencies. As you might know, the most of cryptocurrencies use public ledgers where all addresses are visible and transactions are traceable. Someone may argue that coins like Bitcoin, we are looking currently at blockchain explorer of Bitcoin, gives privacy and anonymity because wallet owner doesn't disclose his identity or IP address. He only presents public key, which is actually address, and this public key is used for receiving coins. At some extent it is true until this public key or address is not associated with the user. If so, everyone can see his incoming green arrow or our outgoing transactions with red arrow and track his balance like current. Take a look at this article. It says that the internal revenue service has been using Bitcoin tracking software developed by startup chain analysis since 2015. Because it is necessary to identify and obtain evidence on individuals using Bitcoin to either launder money or conceal income as part of the tax fraud or other federal crimes. Here is another example. More and more online shops accept Bitcoin as a payment method, but they also use cookies to analyze your identity and advertise you their products. They collect information about purchase products, prices, your name, email address, credit card number, a shipping address, and of course your Bitcoin address too. Researchers from Princeton University decided to check 130 Bitcoin friendly online shops and here are their findings. Half of merchants leaked payment information to third parties. Many of them also leaked your Bitcoin address. And the most of merchant sites grant third party scripts access to transaction relevant information. All this data can be crucial in de-anonymizing a user's online identity. And cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin give you only a pseudo privacy. Even if you are an honest person who pays taxes and so on, you don't want someone to look at your Bitcoin account. There are several ways to ensure your transaction's privacy. You can use mixers or tumblers. Here is a list of some popular. Helix, Bitcoin Blender, BitMixer, unfortunately it has been closed recently, or Bitcoin Fog. These services take your transaction, uh, mix it with transactions from other people and send it from intermediate address, making your transaction hard to trace in this way. Of course, there is some level of complexity to use these services, requirements to minimum transaction size, and some fees, of course. Or you can use cryptocurrency like Dash that implements mixing on the blockchain level. Dash has two layer structure of the blockchain. Second layer is master nodes layer, and the master nodes are responsible for coins mixing. But still, this works only until your wallet is not associated with your identity. If you care about real privacy, you should select coins that implement it with cryptographic methods. There are two of them, Zcash and Monero. Zcash is quite new currency that was launched last autumn. Unfortunately, because of its immaturity, Zcash still needs imp some improvement to ensure pri privacy. Monero was introduced in 2014 and over the past three years has demonstrated itself as the king of privacy and anonymity. So what makes Monero so special? First, it is based on CryptoNode protocol. And unlike Bitcoin or any other coin that is completely transparent system, where people can see exactly how much money is being sent from one user to another, 
Monero hides this information to protect user privacy in all transactions. It also has a dynamic block size and dynamic fees. Monero uses three different privacy technologies – ring signatures, ring confidential transactions and stealth addresses. These hide sender, amount and receiver in the transaction respectively. And all transactions on the network are private by mandate, and there is no way to accidentally send a transparent transaction. This feature is exclusive to Monero, so you do not need to trust anyone else with your privacy. Let's look at typical Monero transaction process. I will try to explain it in a very primitive way, omitting some details. If you want to know more about Monero transactions or CryptoNode protocol, I recommend you to read this white paper. Let's assume that Alice wants to send transaction to Bob. Bob has published his uh, public address and Alice is aware of it. Alice uses this address to generate one-time destination key serve as a random address. And Alice sends the transaction to this one-time uh, random address. Bob tracks every passing transaction with his private key, and if Bob is among recipients, he can use that transaction. Alice already knows Bob's public key. Obviously, she wants to check his balance. She takes his public key, I have generated one for example, goes to the blockchain explorer and pastes it. And look what happens. Monero says no, because you can't neither link transaction to a public key nor check user's balance knowing his public key. Let's look at Monero from pricing point of view. Recently Monero has reached $1 billion market capitalization and current cap is almost $1.5 billion. Current supply is almost 15 million coins which makes Monero a good investment asset. And today price is almost 100 bucks per Monero token. Let's look at price history chart. I use Monero to US dollar daily chart from Bitfinance. As you see, Monero has done great job this year. The price has spiked from about $12 in the beginning of the year to almost $100. The recent price spike is caused by uh, Bithump news. Bithump is the biggest in the world cryptocurrency exchange based in Korea. And few days ago, they have announced adding Monero for trading. Technical indicators tell us that it's not the best time to invest in Monero now, because RSI is in overbought zone and its current value is slightly above 80, and current price is quite high above its 20 days exponential moving average. If you consider investing in Monero, just wait until price returns back to its 20 days exponential moving average value and bounces back from it. Of course, RSI must be below level 70. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!